Well, through 2023, we have brought you updates on a collection of Idaho court cases. Abortion laws have been a big one, the related abortion trafficking law. Of course, the laws covering transgender health care for minors. Another one, though, still wrapped up in the courts, the so-called bathroom bill, now law. And that law mandates that Idaho public schools be required to maintain bathrooms and changing rooms on the basis of biological sex. And that is the sex of a person that they were assigned at birth. If they don't follow this, Idaho schools face possible civil fines. Yeah, civil fines. So that means that the law allows a person who encounters someone of the opposite sex in a public school bathroom, locker room, or sleeping quarters, they can sue the school district for $5,000 for each individual instance they say this happened. The law requires every facility accessible by more than one person at the same time to be designated for male persons only or female persons only, according to biological sex. And as it stands, the law is waiting for the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to make a final ruling. And back in October, the Ninth Circuit reversed a lower court decision here in Idaho. They decided that the law should remain paused or blocked while courts are making their final rulings. But this week, we are seeing arguments that are being submitted to the Ninth Circuit Court from Idaho Attorney General Raul Labrador, along with some partner attorneys that are party to the case. In part, the brief argues that neither the Constitution nor federal law grants a right to use opposite sex intimate facilities or prohibits states from maintaining sex specific facilities. Labrador and his team also argues that overall, the plaintiff's legal theories lack merit on Title IX arguments, privacy claims, and equal protections. Courts will weigh the brief coming up in a few weeks, but Idaho's bathroom, the bill, the bathroom law, I should say, it does remain paused at this point in time.